Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. It's episode 33 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. And today we're doing something different, something that we've been promising to do for a little while. We're adding a second weekly episode. But instead of doing an interview, it's just going to be you and me. We've got some different ideas, some things that we're going to play with as we flesh out this show over the next few weeks. So hearing from you, getting some feedback is going to be really important to help shape this show into the best thing it can be. And of course, the best place to give us that feedback is over at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. You can send us an email and fill out a form or follow us on Twitter and all that contact information is over there. So without digging too hard into the intro, let's just get into it because honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. So the first thing I want to start talking about is that great show that AMC's rolling out starting this coming Sunday. We've talked about it a bit, uh, both on the show and on social media. AMC's Into the Badlands, and this show looks awesome. It's this futuristic sort of, I don't think it's post-apocalyptic, but guns have been banned in this future world. There's a whole bunch of crime and corruption in these barons, and they have assassins, and all of it is this sort of loose framework for some really awesome martial arts action. There have been a ton of trailers put out. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you've probably seen 20 different ones. They really seem to be hammering on that audience to get them to stick around after Walking Dead to watch Into the Badlands. I'm hoping to be able to catch it on Sunday. At the very least, it'll be on my DVR. Check it out. It's on at 10 o'clock on AMC, 9 Central, and it should also be available on the web. That's something AMC does pretty well. They make their shows available for people to watch after the fact or on the web. And the reason I say that I'm hoping to catch it is that we've got a busy weekend coming up. Whistlekick's going to have another two-event weekend, and I'm always exhausted after those, but they're a lot of fun, and the more people to get out and see, the better, right? So on Saturday... We're going to be in Waterville, Maine at the Elm City Karate Challenge. And then Sunday, well, Saturday night, driving back through, not even stopping back at headquarters, but just headed right along to Albany, New York for the Capital District Taekwondo Tournament. Uh, Looking forward to both events. This is the first time for us at both of them, but know the folks involved through other things through other events so looking forward to it if you're going to come out to either one please stop by say hello and hope to see some of you there this past weekend we were at the fall open championships nice close event for us in jericho vermont and we've got a great write-up about that over on our normal website our main website whistlekick.com so check that out as i was putting together the framework for this show one of the things that I really wanted to do was offer a motivational piece. It's something that I do a lot in my life when I'm feeling unfocused or unmotivated. I'll take a quick shot out to Google and see what it comes up with for me in terms of motivation. And I found this really nice quote that I liked. There's a difference between a fighter and a martial artist. A fighter is training for a purpose. He has a fight. I'm a martial artist. I don't train for a fight. I train for myself. I'm training all the time. My goal is perfection, but I will never reach perfection. And that comes to us from George St. Pierre. So for those of you that don't know, he's a mixed martial artist, but he's got a really deep foundation in traditional martial arts. So that one really reached out to me. So I hope you like it. If you haven't checked out Monday's episode of the podcast yet with Sensei Rob Buckland, you really should go back, listen to that. A lot of fun, very entertaining, had a blast talking to him, and it looks like he's going to be working with us on some things as we move forward, so that's going to be great, and of course, we'll keep you up to date all, on all that, but uh, such a cool guy, and it was really a lot of fun to talk to him. I don't usually have to mute the microphone to keep my laughter off the recording, but there were entire minutes that I just couldn't compose myself listening to that episode. And just from the early feedback on it, other people are feeling the same way. Sensei Buckland's just a riot, fun guy, great guy. So I had a lot of fun. But that's really not anything new, is it? No, I, I enjoy my job. I enjoy getting to talk to all these wonderful people like you. So even though you're not talking back to me right now, knowing that you're listening, 
that's a ton of fun. I enjoy doing this. So movies. One of the things that came up that we wanted to do with this show was give you a movie every week. Uh, I don't want to call it homework, but a movie that maybe you haven't heard of or that you haven't watched in a little while. And the one that we've selected this week is Falcon Rising, and it stars Michael Jai White. And the reviews on it are actually really mixed. The critics seem to completely hate it, but that's pretty typical of a good martial arts film, isn't it? Whereas the majority of people, real people, martial artists, I would expect, seem to really enjoy this movie. It's got good reviews over at Netflix. And we're going to limit our movie picks to things that are available on Netflix. Most people seem to have Netflix available to them. So you can check that out. It's available on streaming. Four stars from the Netflix community anyway. Falcon Rising, Michael Jai White. Let us know what you think in the comments. If if you like that movie, let us know. If you hate that movie, let us know. It's going to help us find movies that you're going to enjoy moving forward. And the last thing I want to talk about today is the possibility that karate may finally be included in the Olympics. That's right. Out of the original 26 potential new sports to be included in the Olympics in Japan. We're down to five, and karate is one of them. But of course, as martial artists, we do have a hard time agreeing on things. So it looks like that what most of us know as point sparring rules are what's likely to be used. Uh, the World Karate Federation is kind of the body that the International Olympic Committee has tapped to set up the rules for what would be going on. So that means no full contact, no what we might call kickboxing, no um, hard style kyokushin, full contact kind of stuff would be going on. There have been a lot of people trying to lobby for multiple divisions within the Olympics so we get both flavors of sparring, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm not sure when we're going to find out if that's actually going to happen. But of course, when it does, hopefully it does, you'll know about it, be it here or through our social media. Personally, I'm pumped. I really want to see karate in the Olympics, not just for the sake of karate, but for all of the other martial arts. Let's get more martial arts going on. I think anybody listening to this would agree that martial arts is far more exciting than quite a few of the events that are already in the Olympics, and they have far fewer people participating in them globally. So uh, keep your fingers crossed, and if you know someone at the IOC, maybe you can send them a gift basket. So that's it. First episode, just me, you listening to me. I'm going to keep it short, under 10 minutes. This will grow and develop, as I said, with your feedback. So please head on over to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Give us some feedback. Leave a message on our Facebook page. Whatever you got to do to let us know what you think, what you're looking for, what you want this show to become, we're all ears. So thanks a lot. And until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.